Hey guys, thank you for joining us. It's the Cooking with Jack show. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that it notifies you so you never miss an episode. We're in the middle of our comfort food month. We're having a blast. We're coming to the end. I got like two more videos to do. Um, so let me tell you how this one came to be. So we were surveying you and what you thought the best comfort food was in your mind. And we've been trying to hit some of those, okay? But my wife sent me this recipe and basically uh, she just messaged it over to me just now. Uh, I had a copy already, so I got all the ingredients out ahead of time. She said it looked interesting. I'm like, wow, yeah, I, I don't know. I think cinnamon rolls are a comfort food. I think donuts are a comfort food in America. Um, it's not always the best version to be eating all the time, but, um, but it is a comfort food. So we're doing it. We're doing cinnamon roll cake. All right. So we're going to start with the cake. We've got all the ingredients for the cake, then the filling. I'll show you the filling, then I'll show you the frosting and then we'll put it all together. Okay. So let's go across uh, some of the ingredients and let you know what we got here. All right. So let's run down the ingredients real fast. We got sour cream. We got milk. We got salt, baking powder, baking soda, um, vanilla extract, got some, got some flour here, butter and sugar and eggs. Pretty much everything you'd see in a cake recipe. We got it all here. We're going to do the, This is just for the cake. We'll show you the filling recipe in a minute and then we'll show you the frosting recipe in a minute. All right, let's put this all together. All right, guys, got all the ingredients measured out. Go to your oven right now. Turn the oven on to 350, put the rack in the middle, lower all your racks. You only need one rack, but make sure you got a rack in the middle of the oven. That's where we're gonna be placing it and get yourself a nine by 13 cake pan greased up. Here's what you do first. You're gonna take your flour. You're gonna mix it in this bowl. So let's dump all our flour in there. Got all our flour. Then we take our baking powder and baking soda and salt, which is all in one little dish. Measure it all out and pop that in there. Make sure it's all, all in there. Okay, that's done. Put that off to the side. Take your whisk, give it a good mix. Now, I don't know if you know this, but normally if you add uh, like a self-rising flour, if you take all-purpose flour and add salt to it and baking powder, which we're doing right now, it makes it a self-rising flour. So make sure it's all mixed up. Those somehow it's like a chemical reaction causing your cake to rise. All right. So we got all our dry ingredients here. Let's put that off to the side. Okay. So the next step we're going to do is take our softened butter, drop it in the bowl, get our, our sugar, drop that in the bowl. All right, that's all together. We got butter and sugar now. We got to kind of mix this till creamy. So this is going to take a minute. Got to make sure we're doing it okay. Make sure we're okay. Make sure the butter's softened. Butter soft? Yep, butter soft. Sometimes you might want to squish the butter before you start mixing. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to beat in one egg at a time. So I'm going to put about one egg in, let it drop in. There you go. All right, we're gonna get that beat in. And then the other one beat in. Put the other egg in. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add the vanilla extract. Here we go. Get that in there. There we go. Get that mixed in. All your flour in a little at a time. So we're gonna do it in three stages, okay? Get this over here. There we go. Okay guys, we've incorporated all the flour into three stages. So we're gonna incorporate the sour cream right now. We're gonna drop that in there. It's all in there. All right, get that in slowly. It's gonna feel real thick, but this moisture is going, go ahead. 
There we go. We put in the splash. Awesome. Get that incorporated. All right, and then the last step is take this little bit of milk. We're gonna need that because it's a really thick batter. So get that all mixed in there. Okay guys, we're gonna put this in the pan now. It's already been prepared, sprayed, and then we'll move on to the second part of this cake. All right, here's the cinnamon filling we're gonna be putting into our cake before it goes into the oven. It's gonna be salt, butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, flour. All right, so let's get that all mixed up. Once you have your mixture, you're gonna be taking just little scoops. Well, maybe that's too much. Let's try that. Putting a little spot there. There you go. Taking another one, putting a little spot there. There you go. Put it all over the cake, little spots. Now just take like a, a, a either a butter knife or the back end of a spoon like I'm doing right here and just take it and swirl it through. Okay, we're going to bake this 30 to 40 minutes. Do the toothpick test, if you don't know what that is. You put a toothpick in and if nothing grabs onto the toothpick, it comes out clean, it's done. So let's do that and then we'll get to the frosting. All right, last phase of this is gonna be the frosting. Here's a bowl to mix everything. Gonna be butter, gonna be cream cheese, vanilla, and powdered sugar. I got the urge to dash a little bit of cinnamon in our frosting to give it a little more of a festive feel for everything. A little more, there we go. And that's what the frosting looks like. So now we're gonna apply it to the cake. And it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And by the way, this is obviously one of Tammy's favorite flavors is the cinnamon cinnamon roll. But this is a cinnamon roll cake, is that what it's mm -hmm. called? Cinnamon roll cake. And it's gonna be exciting. Looks good. We didn't know whether to, we had enough frosting to do the edges. We chose not to do the side of the cake, but you can do the side of the cake. Maybe you should do the side of the cake. I don't know the rules. It doesn't tell me how much to frost. It just says to frost the cake. This looks beautiful. All right, you guys. I thought I'd use a fork because it's cake, but it's cinnamon roll. You got to use your fingers. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to use my fingers for the first bite. Here we go. It's so good. Unbelievable. The flavor is an A plus. Whether you believe me or not, because a lot of you are like, oh, you say everything's good. I don't say everything's good. I've made some crappy dishes and admitted to it. That's a home run. That's great. That's amazing. Anyway, you guys gotta make this. You have to make this. Did I say you had to make this? You gotta make this. Recipes down below. I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. You got that? Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to preheat my own oven. Can you believe that? I tell you guys to preheat the oven and then I come back to mix my ingredients and I didn't even preheat the oven yet.